if you look in great detail at all of these messages, you have long winding messages being sent by Shah Rukh Khan, where essentially he's begging to Vankere, saying, let off my son, you know, I will ensure that he grows up to be a man we both are extremely proud of. He may be, uh, you know, uh, laid off by some or, uh, and influenced by some bad decisions, but he is someone I will get back on the right path. And to all of these long winding messages, you have one, two word replies from Samir Vankere, where he says, sure, we'll catch up, let this get over soon. Sure, we will take care of it. You can call me. All of this is the exchange, essentially. It's Shah Rukh Khan who's reaching out and essentially beseeching Vankere. You know, of course, I mean, he, he uh, you know, he, he appeared to be, uh, at least by the messages, what we can read at this point of time. He has not attached all the chats uh, along with the petition. He has chosen specific chats. Please understand that. The petition he has filed basically to support his plea that he should be he should not be arrested and he should get some kind of a protection from the court. So he has attached some selected chats along with uh, his petition. Now the chats basically try to tell that how the worried father is, <coughs> is trying to please Samir Wan Khede by saying that, you know, we'll, we'll do everything possible uh, in our hand, but you know, please, let's, uh, please don't be hard on, uh, on my son. And now why he was saying that? Because on the first day when Aryan Khan was arrested, that was the day when everybody thought that as per NDPS Act, the person who has consumed uh, uh, the drugs, uh, the, the original charge, as Divish was mentioning against uh, Aryan Khan on that particular day, and he was in position, the position and the um, consumption uh, charge against Aryan Khan. Now, the first day, everybody thought that, uh, you know, it's a day's time, he'll be released on a bail, and then later, he'll be called for questioning. That didn't happen, because the charge of uh, uh, drug trafficking was also added to that. It's not only that. After that, the whole thing went to some kind of an international drug syndicate only on the basis of the WhatsApp chat extract from Aryan Khan's phone and that is something which is interesting. And now what finally revealed after the whole investigation is that there was no drugs found on Aryan Khan. He had not con uh, consumed any drugs and that is because, uh, you know, very cleverly Samir Wan Khede did not conduct a drug test on him. If he would have conducted a drug test, if he would have found negative, his urine sample and a blood sample, he would have had to release Aryan Khan on the same day itself, but which he did not do. That is the point when Shah Rukh Khan realized that, you know, Aryan Khan is being trying, uh, you know, uh, NCB is trying to keep Aryan Khan in uh, inside, uh, uh, um, um, uh, inside the jail. And during that time, Nawab Malik started taking the press conference and it changed the whole scenario. After that, suddenly the whole matter became political. Uh, after that, the whole matter, even in the media, the first year, the NCB uh, officials were take, uh, uh, getting heroes welcome because they were calling all the Bollywood stars. There was a huge debate in the parliament with respect to the Bollywood and the drug connection. Uh, riding high on these waves, Samir Wankhede thought that this is the perfect case and that's why the Cordelia drug case started getting attraction. And when Nawab Balik started taking the press conference, it got the political turn as well. But he started countering Nar Narcotics Control Bureau with some sort of facts and then that is where the Narcotics Control Bureau officials started thinking that there is some kind of a problem. I still remember the DG of Narcotics Control Bureau speaking in Delhi to the reporters on the day when the raids were conducted. The next day in the morning, he said that this was a high sea operation. The Cordelia crews never left uh, the port in Bombay. Yeah. But despite that, he was briefed by the Mumbai team that it was a high sea operation. The Cordelia crews was inside the sea at that particular time. They raided the ship and then the ship was brought back. That was completely wrong and that is where the Narcotics Control Bureau headquarters started realizing that there is something wrong going on in Mumbai office and after that the whole full-fledged vigilance inquiry was conducted. And please mind well, the first time when it revealed, that is the time when Prabhakar Sail, the witness in this particular case, yes. the punch witness in this particular case, revealed everything to the India Today and said very clearly that how uh, 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 the money was tried to be extracted from Shah Rukh Khan and that is when everything uh, broke loose and the vigilance officer DDG uh, Ganin, uh, Ganeshwar Singh came down to Bombay and then conducted the whole and And, and Prabhakar Sahil they found, yeah, 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 Prabhakar Sahil yeah. is no more. But you know what he said kind of blew things apart. To essentially break it down for our viewers, you've got a CBI FIR clearly naming Samir Vankere, accusing him of drawing up this elaborate extortion plot in a bid to get 25 crore rupees and all this over the jailing of Aryan Khan in that drug case in 2021. Now, in countering that, Samir Vankere has approached the Bombay High Court with a petition. And in that plea, in which he's made detailed
Imperial defenses. He's even named his bosses, saying they're the ones who passed down the order to keep Aryan Khan in NCB custody. With that, he's also attached these WhatsApp chats, which he alleges was with Shah Rukh Khan. There are obviously bits and pieces that he's picked out that suits his narrative. But the issue will be interesting to see what plays out in court now. There will be some who construe this as, look, a worried father doing everything he can to protect his son, and in that effort, trying to also reach out to Samir Vankere to spare his son, to spare Aryan Khan. Well, uh, as one of the chat messages I just read indicates that Shah Rukh was just acting as a father who, whose son had been arrested by a drug enforcement agency. So uh, he was requesting Samir Vankhede and in one of the messages he also mentions that please show some kindness. So that is what he indicates that please consider him as a child. Uh, he, uh, uh, whatever you are doing is great. Please show some kindness and uh, consider him as a child. He is not part of any network. He is not part of any cartel. So this indicates the same arguments which were being made in the court then. This chat messages are of 7th of October. It was the same time when, uh, when the court arguments were happening where it was being shown that Aryan Khan was part of an international drug cartel. And that is what Shah Rukh Khan's message indicates over here that he is not part of any cartel. He is not part of any syndicate. He is just a kid. So he, and that is why he requests that please show some kindness. Uh, Samir Vankhede did reply to some of the messages. Uh, he also seems to have spoken to Shah Rukh Khan over the phone. Uh, but uh, as of now, whatever messages Shah Rukh Khan has sent to Samir Vankhede, it is only as a father whose son had been arrested. He had been requesting, uh, all well for requesting so that everything goes well for his child.